Hey what's going on everyone welcome back to another replay on my second account so today we're gonna be using this troll deck again yeah I, I really don't have a name for it if if anyone has a name for it just leave it down in the comment I'll, I'll use it for future reference so yeah I'm starting off this match against this level 9 here and we're still level 8 so not much difference in tower health but even a little bit of health makes a big difference overall so my opponent has the log pump the barbarians so yeah he, he's got a fairly all right deck here but it's got the cheese the royal cheese and the, the hog rider so yeah two cards that target buildings and i only have one little cannon here in my deck not sure what good i can do with that alone but yeah musketeer I, I, oh my god i feel that so bad there the musketeer was supposed to go behind the giant but yeah he's after everything there everything just went to hell but luckily he zapped and my minions were so underleveled so I saw a chance to sneak them in and they just well one minion helped the giant just shred that tower with almost nothing so I was in a pretty good city well I was sitting pretty high actually in this match but yeah the wizard it was annoying he locked onto the tower faster than I could react but yeah so moving back on to the match, my opponent still hasn't revealed his royal giant and now he reveals his log. So yeah, he's kind of late about it. Actually no, he didn't reveal his log. He didn't reveal his log yet. So he just decided to take that damage. So it was just free shots from a musketeer. So now if you look at his tower, it's pretty low. So he saw his chance to zap the spare goblins, but I knew in my mind I really wanted the minions to live longer. So yeah, he starts off the royal giant in the back there, trying to build up a push I guess. And now my opponent reveals his log, which deals a lot of damage to my little witch. And the barbarians try to shred up my giant, I just used the cannon reactively. And I did not place it correctly, sadly. So yeah, my opponent gets a lot of value here with the zap, but I do not give up. You, you guys know I don't give up so easily. And even if I am facing horrible death by spell, I'll still try to push. <laughs> so yeah, the tower is not being touched at all. <laughs> I mean, like, what can I do just to reach that tower? So, I placed my musketeer just out of range of that log. I, I knew it was coming, so I just had to prepare for it. And my witch just dies, and the wizard... Why'd you have to get a shot off, man? I thought we had something special. <laughs> So I'm just being desperate here, trying to get some chip damage with the arrows on this tower. And would you look at my tower, it, it's basically one zap away and that's Shiji. I don't know why my opponent was so pressured here, he used his log defensively. I think this was before the log's range got increased. So he didn't finish off my tower <laughs> with the zap which was kind of funny so I got the chance to defend his hog with the cannon and the skeleton so now I just cycle back to my arrows and it's just GG right here boys so hope you enjoyed this clutch match thanks for stopping by peace out everyone